mukbang, muk, mukbang, muk, mukbang, mukbang. I think that's how you say it. I am now in law school. It's a little hard sometimes. It's a little hard all the time, to be honest with you. Like my eyes are so tired from reading. They are so tired from reading. <laughs> Hello, hello, my name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos Where You At. This video is actually just a chit chat, a semi mukbang. It, it's a mukbang by force. It's really by force because that's that's not the intention. I'm just hungry and I need to eat right now. <laughs> so it's going to be a mukbang. I will tell you what's on the plate later on. But um, yeah, I am so tired. And I feel like this is a constant. I know y'all probably tired of me saying that I'm tired. I'm tired of being tired. But yeah, I'm so tired. Um, so pretty much this video will be kind of like a life update and just a chit chat. And I would love to also chat with you in the comments down below. I feel like I haven't really had the time to do a lot of these chit chats. And it's actually my favorite type of videos to do. So I might be doing a lot more of these just because I don't have as much time anymore as I used to to edit videos. So we're going to have just a lot more chit chats and a lot more connections. It's kind of just like a vent section, not section, event session or just like me getting my words out but not really writing in the journal because I've never been able to keep up in journals. So for these videos, um, it's kind of just me saying what's on my mind to be honest with you that's exactly what it is it's just me saying what's on my mind and just what I want to share I realized that I haven't been able to share as much as I want to but the time has come the time is today it's today okay first this by force mukbang I actually went to study I was looking for a coffee shop I was trying to go to there's a place called dancing goats in Atlanta and I was trying to go there but it was packed um they didn't even have like a table where i can put my laptop or anything and then i know right during COVID, it's packed i know some, somebody probably thought that like it's COVID. why is it packed yeah it's packed we in georgia we in atlanta <laughs> and then we ended up going to starbucks they're not open to sit down inside and then we ended up going to whole foods so at whole foods i got some food there i got this i don't know if you can see it that well it might not look that appetizing, but I promise you it's good, okay? <laughs> Don't judge my food. This is actually a cauliflower. Let me zoom in better. Let's see. This is actually a cauliflower mac and cheese. Like, yeah. And I'm not a big fan of mac and cheese at all, in general, at all. But I got this and it's actually pretty decent. And then I got some vegetables. I came home and I had jollof rice. If you don't know what jollof rice is, basically jollof rice, we make it in Ghana. It's like a rice and uh, like a stew sauce and pepper and all that mixed together. And you get this color of a rice. And then I got fish as well. I got fried fish. I mostly eat seafood and vegetables. There may be once in a blue moon that I will eat chicken or any other meat. I am aiming to be fully completely vegetarian but I haven't managed to do that I did that for about a year when I was in China and then I would like eat meat if it's like a special event or if I'm invited to someone else's house but being back in Atlanta and being home right now is so hard to do so uh, this is how I'm making that up by doing seafood so this <laughs> mukbang is just an excuse for me to eat because I haven't had time to eat all day. I've literally had coffee all day today. That's it. I went to Starbucks. Well, not really coffee. I got chai tea latte at Starbucks with coconut milk. That's my favorite order if anyone wants to send me <laughs> that. I ended up getting the chai tea latte there and that's all I've had today. I've had a chai tea latte and you know those vanilla bean scones? Ooh, those are good. And I got one of those. So that's it. And water. That's all I've had today. So me needing to record this video and do a little live update 
is turned into this mug bun. So let's see how this is. Like I told y'all, the cauliflower mac and cheese is actually really good to me. <laughs> I gotta say to me because I'm not that crazy about cheese to begin with and I'm not a big fan of mac and cheese. I'm just not. I never have been. My whole house I think only maybe my sister likes mac and cheese. That's it. My mom hates mac and cheese. I'm not that crazy about it. I've yet to find one that I've really loved. But I decided to get this because it was cauliflower and I wanted to try it. I think it's good. For what it is, I think it's good. Can you close my door? No, 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 I record with you. Can you close my door? I'm gonna mess it. I'm gonna mess it. I also picked up this beer at Whole Foods. My friend got the pineapple one, but I think I've had the pineapple before. It's not really a beer so cider, but I got this uh, pear cider. I love beers. I love ciders. So hopefully this is good. This video is brought to you by. <laughs> One day I will be able to say that I would love it if I could get some sort of sponsorship from like a Bailey's. I know that's an old people's dream, but I love Bailey's. So if I can do that, I know I made it. If I can get a sponsorship from Guinness, you can't tell me nothing. Ah, oh, crap. I need a, a bottle opener. I'll be right back. For the past, since December, we're now in September. So since December of last year, I've actually been applying to law schools and the great thing about being a Peace Corps volunteer is or even if you've done any sort of service if you are planning I'm gonna just tell y'all this right now if you're planning to go to any type of grad school any type of law school or anything like that it's always good to at least try to get like a fee waiver for stuff okay like even if you don't think you need it it's so expensive and you would be surprised that the amount of income you're probably making <laughs> well i know for me it's not enough to to do anything so since i was a peace corps volunteer and during that tax season you don't really make much we get a stipend but it's not a lot i was able to get a fee waiver and use that fee waiver to that's part of the reason why i retook my test because i was able to retake my test for free again try to get a fee waiver if possible just submit your tax information and get a fee waiver and if they allow you to get it that's perfect if not at least you tried okay so i did the fee waiver took my test for free and then after that i started to apply to different schools applications are so expensive i don't know if this is the type of videos y'all are into but i'm going to start like talking about my whole process in more detail this video is just like a quick catch up but the application process is so expensive if that's something you're interested in learning more about just comment down below go to my instagram dms i love sharing information i don't mind doing it at all that's the one thing that i love to do like if i can be a resource to somebody I will absolutely do it like I don't gain anything from holding information inside and what you do with that information that's on you <laughs> but if, if I can help you out I will help you out again like this is off on a little tangent about people when you ask people for something and they're like figure it out on your own do this on your own I can give you all the information in this world but what you do with it it's a huge difference. It doesn't mean that I'm in competition with you now. I can give you all the blueprints, but the results are still going to end up being different. And that's another topic that I want to talk about another time. But like when you need something in life and you ask people, feel free to ask me, okay? I don't mind. If I know the information, I will help you out. If I don't know, I would try to find a resource to help you. And if nothing, I will tell you, I'll be honest with you, I really don't know. But yeah. So I retook my test because I got the fee waiver and the fee waiver also helped a lot with the options that were available to me in applying to schools. 
So if I didn't have the fee waiver, it would be so expensive to individually apply to schools. I ended up still paying for a few of the applications just because I didn't check <laughs> if they also provided a waiver or not. And then some schools were emailing me with their waivers in there, like with their codes in there that allow you to apply for free. I didn't see them until I already applied, like Emory and Georgia State. I didn't see them until after the fact. So I actually paid out of pocket for them. And I am now in law school. It's been two weeks now. Well, I'm going on week three. But by the time I probably have time to edit this video and post this video it will be a month y'all i can't believe it this is something that i was supposed to do back in 2016. i took a two-year break to be a peace corps volunteer in china and then i took a one-year break so i can save up money because i knew i needed to save up money for school and even better i'm in law school and i got a full ride Say that again. <laughs> that is the one thing that I was praying for. Like, I was always telling myself, like, if it's meant for me to go to school, if it's meant for me to fully pursue this career path, somehow, some way, I will find a way to fund it. So initially, my plan was to keep working, work for at least a year or two years, save up some money, add on to my savings so I can at least pay for a year of school and not have to worry about that but I took the chance I applied and because of that fee waiver I applied to different schools even out of state I ended up getting into school that's not in Georgia but also a very good school it's just it just wasn't my dream top number one schools but it was a full ride y'all it's a good school it's a full ride scholarship Right now, I'm actually fully online, so I, I don't mind. It's a little hard sometimes. It's a little hard all the time, to be honest with you. Like, my eyes are so tired from reading. They're so tired from reading. <laughs> but this is part of the reason why it's been taking me so long to actually edit videos, record videos. Most of the stuff that I'm doing is studying. So I don't know what type of content I can record around studying, but I will surely try. Part of the reason why I haven't eaten all day because I've been on the move. But I would love to do a more detailed video later. If you have any specific questions, please drop them down below. That would actually guide me in knowing what kind of things people are interested in as far as law school comes, maybe how I applied, maybe what I think really helped me into getting that scholarship and then also the one thing that I would have to say is I got scholarships in Georgia as well but now the more that I think about it and if I wasn't in such a time crunch I kind of wish or I know if I had gotten back to the Georgia schools and let them know what other schools are offering me like don't be scared to negotiate I didn't do that I didn't do that and that's maybe the one thing that I do regret because I'm thinking that the schools in Georgia would have been willing to amp up the amount of money that they were willing to give me if they also knew what other schools were trying to give me so that's the one thing that I would have to say don't be afraid to negotiate don't be afraid to contact schools and ask questions I didn't do that and I kind of wish that I did. I remember there was a girl that I met in Miami and she was telling me that she wasn't afraid to do that. Basically like if somebody, you are selling yourself, you're marketing yourself. So if somebody is, if a school decides to give you this amount of money and another school decides to give you that amount of money, you can let them know. It doesn't hurt to say something and at least just get a no back. She told me to read this book. I actually got the book. I got it too late. So I haven't read it yet. Get into Maybe. And I know a lot of people recommend this book for law students. But um, this Get Into Maybe book, I have yet to have time to read it. But I got it with the intention of being able to negotiate between schools. And I know this will also help me in different aspects too. So that that's basically all for this video. Um, my life has been hectic. <laughs>
it's been a lot it really has it's been so busy <sighs> and then with working it's been hard to combat both of them so i'm pretty sure i'm about to be a full-time student like fully 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 full-time student and i will probably still do the teaching as a backup i have like a business venture that i want to get into but i'm really hoping that i can have some time to do it how i want to like I'm a complete perfectionist about things. Even with YouTube starting it up, I wanted everything to be perfect until I realized it can't be. Because <laughs> if I waited too long, I just I would have never done it. But that's just how I am with things. I'd rather do things fully or not do it at all. And I, I really want to get this business started because it's taken a long time to do. The idea is in here, but I keep pushing it away because I just don't have the time. So if my videos are a bit delayed that's probably why y'all i can't believe i have been a full-time law student for two weeks <laughs> i've been a full-time student for two weeks all online so that's definitely been a journey in its own like doing this during COVID, fully online while there's still other students that are actually on campus it makes it hard to feel like you're fully part of that community i still i don't i don't like exclude myself from things i still try to make sure i attend like little group meetings via zoom <laughs> and i try to at least be friendly to people because i don't want to feel like i'm missing i know i'm missing out but i don't want to feel like feel like i'm missing out that much I will eventually move from Atlanta and I want to do maybe like a vlog when that happens but I will eventually move to a whole different state and continue my classes there but for now I'm here <laughs> for now I'm here and I'm online and I've been talking so much that I haven't actually been eating my food that I was so hungry to eat and it's getting cold how do people do mug bonds? Do they just like not talk? And how do y'all just watch people just not talk and just eat food? That's such a weird concept to me. But yes, so that is all for now. I will definitely try my very best. I'm trying to like for this month, at least give me some grace for this month because I'm really still trying to keep up with things still build up on my um subscribers still get to know more people still make the actual content that i want to make i haven't even had time for that like content that i actually enjoy making and not just push videos out just for the sake of pushing them out so feel free to ask me any questions any type of videos or suggestions that you have please leave it in the comments down below and yeah i'm actually really excited to get this started I feel like I've delayed this for so long so it feels good to just do something that I know I want to do and move towards the path that I know I want to be on rather than all these little stops and all these bumps and all these hurdles again my stops I I loved it like me being able to live in China for two years to be a teacher there for two years to learn Mandarin for two years and then also me being able to work where I've been able to work for at least a year and a half and learn from there I think all those little bumps were experiences that I needed for myself to feel like I'm making the right choice rather than graduating college going straight to law school from law school going straight into working at someone else's firm or trying to create my own law firm so yeah I will aim to do more of these eat and chat maybe not eat and chat because I haven't done much eating because all I've been doing is chat it's chatting all I've been doing is chatting so maybe I'll do like a a sip and chat <laughs> that, that seems more fitting <laughs> and that might bring me closer to my Bailey sponsorship <laughs> all right so that is all for now thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button share with your friends if you know anyone that's been interested in applying to grad schools or law school or anything like that share it with them 
I'm very open to hearing about people's process and how the journey has been for people. If you are a practicing attorney by any chance, I would love to talk to you and just see how things actually are on the other side because it feels so far out of reach for me right now. <laughs> but I would love that. So thank you for watching once again. Thank you for just watching me blab about, about life. <laughs> about where I am right now. My goal in creating this channel was to take you along with me on my journey, no matter how tired I am. So here we are. All right, I will see you next time. Have a good morning, afternoon, night, whatever time you're watching this. See ya, bye. <laughs> Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.